A memory tool to help you remember is sarcasm. So S stands for sigmoid colon because it affects the sigmoid colon. A is for the absence of movement, so the absence of paracelsus of the bowel. R is for ribbon-shaped stool. This usually occurs in the older child. So typically, this is something we notice right away in newborns, but if we catch it in the older child, the biggest symptom they have is chronic constipation, and when they do have a bowel movement, they have ribbon-shaped stool. C is for congenital, right, because you're born with it, and, of course, constipation. That's the big one. A is for abdominal obstruction or abdominal distension because the stool is not moving through the bowel like it's supposed to. And abnormal feeding, so poor feeding. They're not eating well. The newborn can't eat very well. They're not interested in eating. S is for syndrome, Down syndrome. So trisomy 21 we said was a risk factor. So a symptom of aganglionic megacolon is they don't. They don't have that bowel movement within the first 24 hours. And one other thing I wanted to point out, it didn't fit nicely in my little um, mnemonic device here, but since this is a pediatric issue, I wanted to add failure to thrive because this is another thing we will see in newborns and even in older children. So this is something I wanted to add as well.